if you follow my channel then you'll be aware that the Bleach anime is returning after 10 years. Now when this was announced I'm sure it surprised a lot of people but I'm sure there were a handful of people that were expecting the anime to return especially if they were keeping up to date with all of the promotions surrounding Bleach and all of the merchandise releases. Now you may be surprised to learn that Bleach was not the only classic anime that's been announced to return. There are several other manga series that have been announced for anime continuations or full-fledged reboots. As of 2020 we had series like Shaman King and Digimon Return, as well as the recent announcement of a new anime series for Roroni Kenshin and the Prince of Tennis, and not to mention the return of the slam dunk anime through a new movie written by the series author. This trend of returning to classic titles and offering them continuations or reboots had started as early as 10 years ago, with the releases of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and not to mention Hunter x Hunter 2011, and the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure anime series by David Productions. So with a lot of people high on nostalgia from series that they had watched from 2000 2005 to 2009, what better time than now to return a classic title like Kotekyo Hitman Reborn? In this video, I want to focus on this classic shonen that was first published in 2004. Now, I'm not saying that anything has been confirmed regarding a new Hitman Reborn anime, but in this video, I want to bring up the discussions about a possible anime reboot or a continuation of the series. Everything that I state in this video is just my opinion. There have been no official announcements of an anime return as of making this video, but there are a few points that I'll be making from my research, which will prove that Hitman Reborn most likely will be returning very soon. So let's dive into the topic of this video. This is my thoughts on the future of Kotekyo Hitman Reborn in 2022. Back in the day, Reborn was a pretty big shonen series. It featured memorable characters and an engaging story that had captivated its audience. While now it's not quite as fondly remembered as the big three, it has still earned its own reputation for being regarded as an incredible classic battle shonen, which is evident through the successful sales numbers of the series. Its legacy has been maintained even up until this day through games like Jump Ultimate Stars and J-Stars Victory Versus. Reborn was popular enough to have its own stage play, and as recent as this year we've had new merchandise pop up. Back when it was being serialized, Hitman Reborn would regularly be featured in the top 5 series rankings within Shonen Jump. So it should be no surprise that Reborn is a well respected classic shonen from the mid 2000s, despite it not having that much of a presence within the western world. Fans of Reborn will know that Viz Media had cancelled its run of the English translation of the manga after only releasing 16 volumes out of 42. Even to this day there are fans who want Viz Media to translate the rest of the Reborn volume. Now, the original Hitman Reborn anime was released in 2006, the same year that other memorable titles like Code Geass, Gintama, and Death Note were released. And like I said, while it may not have been that popular in the West, it was incredibly popular in Japan. The anime adaptation of Kotekyo Hitman Reborn had ended on the 25th of September 2010, while the story had continued within the manga and had eventually ended serialization on the 12th of November 2012. As of making this video, Reborn is 18 years old, and I feel like it's found itself in a similar situation to what Bleach was in in 2018. Back then, a lot of people were doubting whether if Bleach was going to return. But as I have mentioned, there appears to be a trend of returning to classic titles. Now, similar to Bleach, Hitman Reborn had ended without adapting the entirety of the manga. We know that the Ceremony arc and the Curse of the Rainbow arc have yet to be adapted into an anime. Now, there's been a lot of speculation as to why the last two story arcs of Hitman Reborn have not been animated for so long. Some assume that the anime was cancelled abruptly because the studio behind the series Studio Artland had gone under. Now while the manga had an official ending, very little is known about why the Reborn anime had ended in September of 2010. And this is a topic that I will be coming back to later on in this video. Now I'm probably going to sound like a conspiracy theorist for the rest of this video, but here are my research points as to why I believe that Reborn is being revived. After years of hearing nothing about the series, Reborn had got its first push starting with its 10th anniversary celebration back in 2016 and 2017. The series had started to get several popular up stores which sold merchandise and featured collaborations with other brands. And this was also the same year that the Blu-ray of the anime was being released. This physical home media release was very successful as it had been ranked number 12 in Japan's animation Blu-ray disc rankings back in April of 2017. The entire Reborn series was also released in North America by Discotech Media in 2018. And speaking of 2018, the anime had got its first live stage play as well. During this stage play, the original voice actor for Reborn had reprised 
reprise their role. The stage play was produced by Marvelous, Pony Canyon and D-Rights, and they'd started with their first stage performance which had adapted the Daily Life arc and the Kokyo arc from 2018. Following up from this, the Varai arc was performed in 2019 and 2020, and they even had a stage performance for the two stories from the Hitman Reborn Secret Bullet Light novels in the same year. In 2021, the Reborn stage play had their final performance where they adapted the future arc. They had concluded the Reborn series in a very similar manner to how the anime had ended. These stage performances were so well received that they even had their own Blu-ray releases. With the release of the Blu-rays and these stage plays, you could see that Reborn was having somewhat of a resurgence, even if it was exclusive to Japan. Now earlier on, I had mentioned that when the manga was being serialized, it was often ranked quite high in the Shonen Jump rankings. And you'll be surprised to learn that even in the modern day, Reborn still ranks highly on popularity lists. Two years ago, on the 11th of April 2020, a post about the top 50 manga was posted on Twitter. And the post had gone on to reveal the popular trends amongst Japanese audiences when they were asked about their top 5 favourite manga series. There were over 620 participants who were questioned between 21st of March to the 2nd of April. And through this questionnaire survey, they were able to create a top 50 manga list. Series like One Piece, Hunter x Hunter and Slam Dunk were featured within the top 10 list. But the real surprise is that the position of number 9 was taken by Katekyo Hitman Reborn. This proves that even 10 years after the conclusion of the anime, Reborn is still fairly popular and well remembered. Again, all of this information was limited to Japanese audiences. Now while this survey was conducted 2 years ago, but you'll be surprised to learn that this wasn't the last time that Reborn had made it onto a top shonen manga list. As recently as the 6th of January of this year, Hitman Reborn had made it onto the top weekly shonen jump circulation numbers of all time. It had ranked number 30 among 119 series, with over 30 million copies in circulation. Now if you think that being ranked number 30 is quite low, then just know that it was ranked on the same level as Death Note. Again, from these rankings from 2020 and 2022, it is evident that Reborn is successful in terms of its sales, and it's well remembered by a lot of fans. It is among several manga titles that are still talked about by Japanese fans to this day, and it finds itself amongst other series like Shaman King and Rurouni Kenshin, which have recently been announced to have their own reboots. Now these are not rankings conducted by my anime list, these are proper questionnaires and surveys that were handed out to people. With all of this information, it should prove that Reborn isn't entirely as dead as people try to make it out to be in the West. Another aspect that Reborn is very successful in is that it has the largest number of cosplayers for any particular series within Japan. While this news is from 2008, it proves that at the height of Reborn's popularity, it had a massive audience. And of course, now that all of these fans have grown up, they will have a lot of nostalgia for this series. And this is something that Japanese animation studios are realizing more and more often now. And I think this had started back in 2008 with the release of Dragon Ball Kai. They had done this to appeal to fans who had nostalgia for the original Dragon Ball series, as well as introducing Dragon Ball to a whole new generation. And I feel like this is what's being planned with Hitman Reborn in the not too distant future. Now while we are speaking about the Japanese fandom, let's talk about how Reborn has been trending several times on Japanese Twitter. The term hashtag Vongola Rings was a regular trend within 2020, with fans showing off their collections of Vongola rings that they had bought. The trend had gotten so popular that even the series author Akira Amano had commented upon it. In a Twitter post, she states that she had been wondering what had happened since Vongola rings was trending, considering that she was the author of the series, and she is in control of all of the merchandise of the series. She comments upon how it's been 8 years since the manga had ended, and 10 years since the anime had ended, but even after all of this time, she is pleased to see that it's still loved, and she looks forward to creating more works for her fans. And there are several other tweets from the voice actors of Reborn who had also commented upon this trend. Aside from this Vongola Rings trend, the series itself has trended on Twitter several times thanks to Japanese fans. And the most recent occasion was when it started trending on the 18th of December 2021. Now if you recall, the 18th of December 2021 was the day that the Bleach anime had its super stage at Jump Festa 2022, and we finally got a preview trailer for the upcoming anime that's going to release this year in October. Several voice actors for the Reborn series had made comments about it trending, as they had been sharing their wishes for the anime to also return. Now recently, Reborn has had a lot of merchandise releases and event promotions. There's been everything from digital ebooks being sold, to collaborations with cafes that are celebrating the 15th anniversary of Reborn, and even a mobile game of the series being released that's officially licensed by the author Akira Amano. Now there's a company in Japan called Sanrio Characters, and they're famous for being responsible for the creation of Hello Kitty, and for the designs featured in the Netflix series Agretsuko. Now Sanrio Characters have collabed with big brands in the past like Mobile Suit Gundam,
Gundam and Sailor Moon. But as of recently, they are going to be collaborating with Hitman Reborn. Now this proves that Reborn is not as small of a franchise as people make it out to be, since it's collaborating with the very company that had collaborated with huge brands like Gundam and Sailor Moon. Now in addition to everything that I've mentioned, there's been a recent creation of a Twitter account which was created to promote Kotekyo Hitman Reborn. Now while a lot of people may assume that this is solely to promote merchandise, but I believe that the promotion of all of this merchandise is a precursor to the eventual return of the anime. But they have to still prove whether if it is viable to invest within a new anime series of Reborn through selling new merchandise, featuring the series in collaborations, and making events surrounding Reborn. This not only ensures that the series stays relevant, but it also plays upon the nostalgia of fans who have now grown up and have their own money to spend on the series. So if there's enough demand and people buy enough merchandise and support the series, then I'm pretty confident that Reborn will be returning for a new anime series. And if you are following the events leading up to the announcement of the Bleach anime, then you'll know that there was a similar merchandise push prior to the Bleach anime returning. We had the entire I'm Still Bleach campaign, which was wildly successful. Now, before I wrap up the video with my final thoughts, there's something that I want to briefly mention about the anime. We spoke about how Hitman Reborn's anime adaptation had ended on the 25th of September 2010, without adapting the final two arcs of the manga. This had led a lot of people to assume that the Reborn anime was cancelled due to a lack of popularity. The 30th volume of Reborn features the start of a new arc, the Inheritance Ceremony arc. It follows the events after the anime's conclusion. This volume was released on the 8th of August 2010, while the anime had ended on the 25th of September 2010. Due to how close these two dates are, it is evident that the anime was catching up to the manga. This point is further proven when you realise that the anime adaptation of the future arc was interrupted by two anime exclusive story arcs, which were the Arc Beleno Trials arc and the Primo Family arc. If you've been on this channel long enough, then you know that filler can only mean one thing, that the animation studio desperately needs to create buffer space between the anime and manga. After the end of the Reborn anime, Studio Artland had gotten busy with a lot of other projects, so it may have been that they had wanted to return to Reborn, but just could not fit it into their schedule. So much time has passed, and in 2022, it shouldn't really matter whether if the anime was cancelled or not, because the studio behind the series, Studio Artland, had unfortunately filed for bankruptcy in 2017. Now, with the anime studio out of business, the licensing rights for the Reborn anime are currently up in the air. Who knows whether if an animation studio has come to approach Shueisha in order to reboot the series or to do a continuation of it. Both of these options are pretty likely, especially after discussing how the series is being pushed with its merchandise and how there's been a recent resurgence in the series popularity. Now while in this video I've tried to speak about the popularity of Reborn, I've unfortunately had to do it through the lens of Japanese audiences, but hopefully through this video you've realised that Reborn is still a massive property. It's had several notable achievements, and it has a solid fan base that supports its characters and story even to this day. With the series author Akira Amano even creating regular illustrations of Reborn characters for wallpaper calendars that users can have on their phones. Now while the series author has moved on with a new manga series, there is no doubt that she is aware of the popularity of the series that she had created all those years ago. At the end of the day, creating anime is a money-making business. It has to make financial sense. Otherwise, a production committee would not come together in order to invest in a new series. So I really think that the Reborn committee is currently testing the waters, with the recent stage plays, merchandise releases, and several Reborn collaborations that have occurred with notable brands. Now to wrap up my thoughts, in my opinion, I do still think that it's early days, and we're probably two years out from an anime announcement, but the gears are currently moving for a potential revival for Reborn, and it's up to the fans to speak with their wallets and support the series through its various merchandise releases. Now we know that the Reborn 20th anniversary is coming up, and that the Bleach anime was announced for its 20th anniversary. So as long as fans support the series, and a new production committee is formed, and an anime studio is willing to animate the rest of the story, we can expect to have Reborn return in the not too distant future. Now I want to know all of your thoughts. Would you prefer if the Reborn anime was rebooted, considering that the original anime was heavily censored, and had changed a lot of stuff within the manga? Or would you prefer if the anime had just continued from where it left off? I would love to know all of your thoughts in the comments, so definitely continue the discussion. And lastly, thank you for making it to the end of this video, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.